magistrate's court today on charges of public violence and being in possession of stolen property following a week of looting in suburbs across Soweto. Well, the spate of looting of foreign-owned shops across Soweto now looks to be spreading to Alexandra. Professor Irma Ilof is with the University of Pretoria and she joins us now from our Hatfield studios to help us unravel the psychological impact of such criminality on our communities. Good afternoon, Prof, and thank you for your time on the PM News Desk. Good afternoon, Koshni. Hello. Uh, Prof, what sort of psychological effect uh, does criminality like looting and acts of thuggery have on communities, many non-nationals already living in fear and anxiety? Yes, as we all know, children learn by example. So I think there are very real risks for our youth um, in seeing these images. Um, we live in a time of social media um, where images such as this spreads around the world within minutes of something like this happen. The psychological effects can be uh, dire. Um, anything from fear and anxiety that's risen um, to anger and sympathy being fueled um, as people react to the images that they are seeing. Mm. Uh, what is it that moves uh, some people to react with violence and others not to prof? That's a very difficult question. There's many, many studies that um, link it to societal um, uh, challenges that lead to that. In some instances, uh, drugs and gang-related uh, behavior is um, referred to. Um, educational crisis is what's going on in households in South Africa. All of this can be contributive factors to um, violence or mm. violent behavior. Mm. Uh, Prof, those that uh, perpetrate such acts like looting or even mob justice for that matter, uh, do they see themselves uh, in a role as being defenders of a moral community that requires their protection or, or are they just rationalizing all this and they feel they're justified by virtue of being South African? Because this is all very un-South African at the moment, isn't it? Mm. I think uh, we need to understand this much better. This is not the first time that this has happened in South African society. So I think before I speak for them to say how they see their own roles, I think we, as a society we need to better understand what drives this behavior. Do they see themselves as defenders or um, are they just opportunists who are making um, use of this opportunity um, for criminal behavior? <laughs> Professor, foreign-owned shops are being targeted at the moment. It's difficult to ignore. Uh, what fuels or triggers this uh, uh, alleged xenophobic sentiment and what conditions uh, have to be in place uh, for those who harbour such sentiments uh, to transition into hands-on offences? I think there are many popular perceptions that feel this kind of behavior and it's incorrect popular perception so perhaps one of the things that we can do is to actively work against this one of the uh, um, examples is for instance um, that foreigners are taking our jobs so that's not supported by empirical evidence there are a lot of evidence out there that shows that foreigners who own uh, shops in this instance actually create opportunities um, for jobs so I think it's a perception thing and we need to be correcting that with empirical evidence thank you professor that was professor Irma Ilof with the University of Pretoria